In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate the car I made in a previous tutorial so that it follows a path with its front wheels turning. I'm going to open the car that I made in a previous tutorial. I'm going to change the view from perspective to orthogonal and to the top view. I'm going to zoom back with the mouse wheel and shift middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to add curve path. I'm going to press G to grab and I'm going to move the path to the side and down a bit. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to grab the first point on the curve, G to grab and move it up to there. I'm going to select the last point on the curve, press G to grab and move that down. Select the last but one point, G to grab and move that down second point, G to grab and move that up. And finally the middle point, G to grab and move that way over to the side. Go from edit mode to object mode. Select the car. We're going to add a constraint. Click the constraints button. Add constraint, follow path. In the target, only one curve is listed. That's our path. Click select that and tick follow curve. For some reason the car is going backwards so I'm going to go into the properties of the car and in the Z rotation I'm going to enter 180. Select the curve and go to the properties specific to the curve, this button. Before I animate the car I'm going to set the total length of the animation to be 120 frames which at 24 frames per second will last 5 seconds. Now I'm going to go to frame, make change and insert keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 1, I'm already in frame 1. I'm going to make the change, I want the car at the beginning of the path and that corresponds to an evaluation time of 0. So I don't need to change that. So I can right click and insert a keyframe. Now I'm going to go to frame 120, make change, I want the car at the end of the path. Now with frames here set at 100, uh, to be at the end of the path, the evaluation time will be a percentage, 100% complete, because frames is 100. Now I can right click that and insert a keyframe and rewind and play and the car follows the path. Pause and rewind. Dragging with the middle mouse button, I'm going to rotate the view. I'm going to select the front wheel and go to its properties. We made the wheel from a cylinder and rotated it through 90 degrees. To make things simpler, I'm going to go to the object menu, apply, rotation and scale. Now I'm going to press R to rotate followed by Z and I'm going to rotate the wheel into the first bend. I'm going to enter a value of minus 15 and I'm going to insert a rotation keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 60. I'm going to change the rotation to 40 and I'm going to insert a keyframe rotation. I'm going to go to frame 120. I'm going to change the rotation minus 15 and you can also insert a keyframe by right clicking and inserting keyframe and then rewind and play and the wheel turns into the bends. Pause and rewind. Dragging with the middle mouse button, we have to do exactly the same with the other front wheel. I'm going to go to the object menu, apply, rotation and scale. I'm going to change the rotation to minus 15. And I'm going to right click to insert a keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 60. I'm going to change the rotation to 40 and I'm going to right click to insert a keyframe. I'm going to go to frame 120. I'm going to enter minus 15 and right click insert keyframe. In the view menu I'm going to change the view to perspective. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button and zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to rewind and play. Now looking at the front wheels turning, we most probably need keyframes at 30 and 90 with zero rotation, but I'm going to leave that as an exercise for the viewer. That's the end of the tutorial. 
I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.